All right, hello, everyone, it's Silver Kyle, and today we are going to be taking a look at Heroes Reborn, America's Mightiest Heroes, which is not the 90s Heroes Reborn. So this is, uh, I think last year uh, this came out, it was one of the bigger events for Marvel. And uh, just right off the bat, not the biggest fan when they take an image and they make it a lot smaller because it's a two-page spread. Uh, if they really want this image, I feel like it's a lot better when they decide to do a wraparound cover. I think this would have worked maybe better for the hardcover. Although the hardcover, I prefer what they have on the hardcover as a wraparound as well, as opposed to what they have here. Uh, but either way, this is what uh, I think the standard edition is. Uh, then we have the spine. And the back. All right, this retails for... 75 in the U.S., 93.75 here in Canada, and it includes Heroes Reborn 1 to 7, Heroes Return number 1, and then the, the one-shots, Heroes Reborn, Hyperion, and the Imperial Guard, Peter Parker, the Amazing Shutterbug, uh, Magneto and the Mutants Force, uh, Young Squadron, Siege of Society, Squadron Savage, Marvel Double Action, American Knights, Night Gwen, and Weapon X and Final Flight. It is 568 pages, so it's more like an oversized hardcover, I feel, and that's kind of the build of this book as well uh, that I'm going to show you in a second. So we've got the left-hand side kind of explaining kind of what's going on here. This is essentially uh, created by uh, Jason Aaron and Ed McGuinness on, uh, for most of the art. Here's the wraparound I was talking about that I kind of prefer over what they, the other image that they had. A lot more colorful. If you like N. McGinnis's art as well, uh, this this book itself, you're going to like the art. It's very colorful. I will say that throughout what I looked through here. So, I mean, it's a small book, so yeah, that's kind of expected. And it opens up pretty much fine kind of show you everybody that's worked on it and then it was in the iMac uh, offset Essenyurt Istanbul Turkey which was the same for the last omnibus that I reviewed which I'm already forgetting uh, AVX <laughs> is, uh, and this was this is slated for November 1st once again I got it a little bit earlier but November 1st, and then we dive right into it. And it, it follows along with, uh, I checked, it's Heroes Reborn 1-7, to seven. then they do Return, and then all the one-shots afterwards is the layout for this book. Some nice imagery here. I really do like a lot of that, and I feel that at the beginning of the book, uh, we're not going to really get a lot of gutter loss, but later on, there's not really a big eye, so we're going to start getting um, a little bit of gutter loss. As well, there is some bleed through. Uh, for the most part, I did look through quite a bit of this book beforehand to kind of see how often that this would happen. That you can see the background there. There's, I mean, here again as well. That's a, that's a nice image there. You do see it here as well. That that this doesn't really matter because it's just an orange extra page, so they can they have the proper amount so that you can see. Uh, these two page spreads, which there are a lot of, but whenever there's some, a lot of white, you do see some, I think it's later on. That's, where was it? This is the issue that I was thinking of, I think. Next page, maybe. You can't see it too well. Now you can see it more there. I believe that that's, yeah, that's his leg right there. So just for those of you that uh, do care about that, it's it doesn't happen often. Uh, most of the time you won't, you'll, you won't be able to see it because there's so much color in this book. Uh, but I know that a lot of people do care about that. It does open up nicely because that it's, you know, under 600 pages. They didn't make it super tight. The only thing is that the eye doesn't pop out. Uh, and this is a story for another world. Uh, it's, um, 
basically a world where the Avengers don't exist, but Blade still remembers the Avengers. And that's essentially uh, the story. I haven't read it myself. I heard, I've heard that's relatively fun. And we'll just go back to the end here for some extras. Yeah. That's a nice image right there. Kind of would have preferred that. As the wraparound. That's really nice. The variants. It's not a horrible image, but... It, I don't know. This is this this to me doesn't look as fun as that does. That to me looks a lot better. Let's bring it in for a closer look. Yeah, I would have preferred that. Hmm. And there you have it. We'll take a quick look at the uh, no eye. Mm, looks close. We'll, we'll, we'll go mobile and we'll see if this is about halfway through. Yeah, it's close enough to the halfway mark. <laughs> and yeah, it's essentially, I mean, oversized hardcovers tend to kind of have this. As you saw, I mean, it opens up fine. But, and, and at the big, and at the end and the beginning, I think you'll be fine for those two page spreads, but it's in areas like around here. Could I find a two-page spread? Probably not. No. Whenever you're looking for one. Yeah, there we go. So. It's not too bad, honestly. It's not horrible. That's what you get. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for watching. You have been bearded in. Beardage.